Pineville's Main Street bustles with shops and traffic, and the Little Sugar Creek Greenway offers an escape. But there was a time just after the American Revolution when just a few settlers called this area home. One of those families, the Polks. Well, today we're at the President James K. Polk State Historic Site, which is the birthplace of our nation's 11th president, James K. Polk. James K. Polk was born here on the property. He was here the first 11 years of his life before the Polks eventually moved, uh, left Mecklenburg County here in the fall of 1806 to move out to South Central Tennessee. Site manager Scott Warren says this site not only shares Polk's story and presidency, but also interprets life here in Mecklenburg County as the United States found its way as a new nation. You know, the Polks, when they were here, had a, a large working farm, almost 429 acres. The Polks, um, along with the five enslaved people that were here during the time of the Polks, uh, worked the farm here. They grew cotton, corn, and would you know, certainly take that into Charlotte to sell. Outside, preserved on the site, are several cabins from around Mecklenburg County. We've got three historic structures that were moved here in the 1960s when the site was being developed. And we actually think that the larger cabin is really a good example of uh, the type of home that the Polks would have had uh, when they were here. He says staff at the Polk site are also working hard to include the stories of those once enslaved on this very land. Our assistant site manager, Kate Moore, is, has been doing a lot of research on the enslaved that were here at the Polk Farm. We do know that there were five enslaved individuals here. And really what we're striving to do is give them a little more voice, give them a little more prominent presence here at the site. Inside the visitor center is where you learn more about the site's namesake, James K. Polk, the 11th president of the United States. When you first come in, you'll get a sense of the history of Mecklenburg County, the environment that the uh, Polks were in, that they farmed in, lived in at that time. It uh, transitions over into the growth of the United States during the 1820s. Our next section gets into the election uh, of 1844 and how Polk was nominated from the floor of the convention. And it finally ends with the, one of the landmark events that happened here in Polk's presidency, the Mexican War. Warren says Polk's presidency is often overshadowed by more well-known presidents of the era, but nonetheless impacted the country's path. Polk is right in between two very strong presidents, Jackson, uh, who was Polk's mentor and the seventh president, and then Lincoln on the other end of the spectrum. When he was in power and, and was uh, in office, he actually accomplished four things that uh, were certainly you know, monumental in United States history. He acquired uh, you know, all the way out to California. He settled the Oregon Territory boundary dispute with Great Britain. He ended up um, lowering the tariffs at that time. And also he ended up really kind of corralling in the uh, federal funds that were scattered throughout the United States in various private institutions and state banks. A visit to the James K. Polk site offers far more than a bit of trivia on a former president. It offers perspective on where we've been as a county, a state, and a nation. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Churzis reporting. We hope you enjoyed the story. If you don't want to miss any more great stories about the Charlotte region, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.